Okay. Oh, know, God. I don't know if you can hear it. It's an internet <laughs> thing. And here's how to manipulate them. Part, I don't know. It's been so many. I want to say, like, realistically, eight. I'm going to go with eight. As always, a little heads up before we get into it. Manipulation tactics of any sort are really toxic. Do not use these on good dudes that you want to be in relationships with. These are only for the bad dudes that hurt you and deserve it. Let's get into it. Number one, alternate between love bombing and gray rocking. I think we all know what love bombing is. Gray rocking is just disengaging. Essentially switching between love bombing and gray rocking is a form of push pulling. Number two, reject him and then give him a plausible logical explanation as to why you did that. Because harmless rejection breeds obsession. So as long as he gets a plausible explanation as to why you had to reject him, he will become obsessed. Number three, the damsel method. The sun is killing me. Be a damsel. Don't do anything. Let him do everything for you. And I'm not just talking about things for the both of you. Ask him to help you with anything you can think of. This will make him feel like he's the hero. This will make him feel like you need him. Let me know if you want more. I need more. <laughs> <laughs> that was part eight also. That was part eight. That was part eight. So many terms. Uh, what's up with you, Jackson? What did you think of that? Yeah. Uh, you... I think someone should hit this lady with a hammer. That's oh so mean. God. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sliding away from yeah. Jackson. It's That's fine. aggressive. No, I, don't hey. know. I guess this, what is it? This reminds me of like, I guess when I was in college, I wasn't like super like, like dating or like in a really but like my my female friends would like do shit like this like kind of these manipulation like tactics and it seems kind of like it's uh i don't know it's like i don't know if if there's a guy in your life who is as bad as like she's kind of like leading this out to be then like why are you even like messing with him in the first place mm -hmm. that's kind of my thought on this yeah if I don't know if you were going to me second or not, Arturo, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I had an immediate <laughs> thought. Um, if the person's goal, and she even had the word manipulation mm -hmm. up there, like if your goal is to Somebody manipulate me. somebody, that means most likely you have been a victim of manipulation yourself. I mean, that's just logic mm -hmm. to me. Perfect. That being said, it's no excuse for you to continue that behavior and push it on other folks to possibly put out into the world, you know? Um, I don't know. That all just feels toxic and gross to me. I, I could be wrong. And if, if she's been wrong and she's getting back at a specific person who hurt her in the past, I, I might not be that mad about it. But she's putting that on TikTok as kind of like a tutorial. <laughs> yeah, only for use people. It, only use it if for the real and bad isn't guys. There, the real bad isn't bad. there enough manipulation and conniving in the world already uh, yeah. i don't know it just feels gross well, to me um as a chronic gaslighter and manipulator i think it's good advice and i think everybody <laughs> chronic was funny. Chronic like, is funny. i think i think it's great advice thank that you everybody for, should take thanks for coming clean yeah, sorry, i'm trying to make we the, really uh, appreciate i'm just trying to provide the other side of this the is the kind of honesty we need, we need absolutely right? i'm the hard-hitting truth wow. about, like, so it's effective you, you would think it would yeah. be effective i mean yeah if you fucking know how to emotionally manipulate people like yeah it's always effective yeah like, it is unfortunately it's a fucking mean fucking habit like if like <laughs> to learn like it's like something you have to learn and like it's a it's a Why? fucking something you have to fester and grow and it, it only festers and grows. It doesn't like grow like a tree. It grows like a fucking tumor in your fucking gut. Mm. And then you're like, I'm going to do this to everyone I meet. And they're all going to, you know, like tell them just lies. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> that's, I'm just, <laughs> that's just how those people are. That's my long and short of how those people are. Well, well, yeah. well, well. I mean, I, I don't like the tactics. I've never like being manipulated so i mean for somebody like you said if i've been manipulated why would i manipulate others yeah that makes no sense um she doesn't look like she's a very pretty person inside and out <laughs> i agree so yeah. that that comes from somebody probably told her hey babe you're the love of my life and she fell for it and mm -hmm. that's your problem yeah when you fall for dumb shit like hurt people hurt people yeah that part okay i think we're all people who have experienced therapy yeah. at some time in our lives because i agree <laughs> like like i like even when she said that like to, like you said for the keywords to be manipulate 
and you're you've done part eight. <laughs> Why have you done part eight? It's a very specific Why kind. Why did we get to part one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it feels to me like it's a very specific kind of pain mm-hmm. to inflict on someone. You know, um, because it's such a mind game, and it's hard to forget when you get played yeah. by somebody. 